Will Facebook and Instagram be banned in Nigeria? Will they face the same issues like Twitter, although that of Twitter wasn't about taxes in the beginning? We will see all that in a moment. Welcome everyone. Facebook is facing a 30 billion naira lawsuit in Nigeria. A Nigerian government agency, the Advertising Regulatory Council of Nigeria, ACON for short, has sued Meta in a federal high court in Abuja, Nigeria. Meta is the parent company of Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, while ACON is the apex regulatory body in Nigeria that approves all advertising in Nigeria. They approve all advertising for print media, digital media, and all sorts of advertising. According to a statement released by ACON, ACON is seeking a declaration, among others, that the continued publication and exposure of various advertisements directed at the Nigerian market through Facebook and Instagram platforms by Meta Platforms Incorporated, without ensuring the same is vetted and approved before exposure, is illegal, unlawful, and a violation of the extant advertising laws in Nigeria. The statement added that the continued exposure of unvetted adverts by Meta Platforms Incorporated has led to the loss of revenue to the federal government and that ACON would not permit unethical and irresponsible advertising in Nigeria's advertising space. ACON understands how this news might be received by the public. That's why they reiterated that they are focused on advertising and marketing communications on the online platforms in line with their Establishment Act rather than regulating the social media. Well, that's because of how the general public received the ban on Twitter. Sometimes government says one thing and does another thing. If this is purely about tax, it is understandable. Governments all over the world always find ways to generate more money, generate revenue. They find ways to tax these social media companies because they make a lot of money. And since they can't formulate a way to tax them, they always find ways to, you know, get money from them, like in Europe, even America. Sometimes they give them fines that run into millions or sometimes billions. Then after negotiations and maybe going to court and everything, appeal, and it is now brought down to a few millions. This happened in France recently where they find Google. Uh, sometimes Microsoft also faces fines in many places. So if this is purely for tax purposes, they want to generate the revenue, it is understandable. If Acon wins the lawsuit against Meta, that means Meta will pay a 30 billion naira fine. They might also decide to appeal all the way to Supreme Court, but that will not erase the fine, assuming the judgment is upheld. One other thing to consider is that Acon must have a lot of staff in order to vet all the adverts because thousands of adverts are shown on Facebook and other platforms. Even on Facebook platform, it should be vetted by machines or AI softwares because humans can't vet thousands of ads and even millions, you know, it's over a period of time. So they must have enough staff members to be able to vet these ads, although these ads are very short. Most of them are a few seconds long. This is the political season. A lot of political parties and different candidates that are contesting for different positions will always market themselves through social media. Because social media, like some people always love to say that it has no impact on elections, but actually social media has a huge impact. This is because a lot of people have phones. Many, many majority of people have phones and they are connected to social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp groups, and even YouTube. Once you do targeted advertising at these kind of people who have the phones, you know, they receive them instantly once they get connected to social media platforms. So the social media adverts actually has a high penetration than maybe television or radio. A lot of people haven't watched a television for the past few weeks or even listening to radio. They get most of their news from social media platforms either websites or groups that they belong to on Facebook or many other platforms, you know. Many television stations also have social media presence. You can watch most of their content on YouTube. Some are even streaming live. You can watch interviews they've done on social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, you know. 
So many people don't bother to watch television anymore, except maybe football or something else that interests them. So social media will play an important role in the upcoming presidential election in Nigeria. It is already being used effectively by many parties to mobilize and, you know, reach out to other people. Like all the rallies being conducted by the obedient movement and even APC, other parties, they always, you know, reach out to people through social media. Organization, most of the things are done on social media. They tell themselves where they will assemble before, you know, moving or making the walk to another location. So social media is an effective tool that have been used in the past effectively also. When the APC was formed, they effectively used social media to dislodge the PDP in 2015. Also in 2019, it was effectively used by PDP and the APC during the presidential elections. They used it for mobilization of their members and even reaching out to new members and you know, voters that were on the fence, didn't know who to vote for. So it will still play a major role. It is already playing, like already said. <laughs> One good thing about social media is that it never forgets. Like the saying goes, the internet never forgets. These social media platforms always keep records of past events. Whatever has happened in the past, people will always find a way to locate them to prove that someone is either lying or misrepresenting the facts. Just like the recent viral videos of Tinubu, the presidential candidate of the APC, where he was cycling. A lot of people started searching for the video and they found out that it was first uploaded on YouTube in 2013. This is the power of social media and the internet. A lot of people will conduct a fact check immediately to find out if a candidate or someone is making the correct statement or wrong claims. This has been done on Pito B many times because of how he quotes a lot of figures. <laughs> Atiku Abaka is not left out after screenshots of a tweet that he made against the sad event in Sokoto surfaced after he had denied that he didn't make such a tweet. So social media, like every other thing in the world, has its advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages when people use it for disinformation and fake news, you know. So going into this election, social media will play a major role. And you know where to keep tabs on happenings in politics, massive projects that, you know, will be constructed or are ongoing in Nigeria. It is on this channel, Net Media, that you get them. So make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you'll be notified to watch all videos that will be uploaded in the future. Thank you for your support.